Hello guys, welcome to Talent Battle once again. We have with us Mr. Adharv, who has just been placed in Infosys with a package of 3.6 LPA. Welcome, Adharv, to Talent Battle. Hello. Hello. Okay. So, Adharv, first of all, a uh, big congratulations from the whole team of Talent Battle on getting placed with Infosys and starting your journey uh, with Infosys. Thank you so much. So, how are you feeling today? It's completely fine. Finally, got placed in some companies. Great, great. So let's first of all discuss: Was it an on-campus or off-campus drive? Uh, it was an off-campus drive. Okay. So how did you apply for this drive? Uh, firstly, firstly, I have joined this group from Talent Battle. So in that group itself, I got the link to apply to Infosys. I got to know about the process. Uh, so uh, I followed the process uh, which was mentioned there. And apply apply for that. Okay. So, uh, when was the registration process carried in? Like, uh, do you remember in which month uh, did the Infosys came off campus? Uh, it was in uh, the January. Okay, the January this year itself. Yeah, January two thousand twenty. Okay. So, uh, moving ahead, like once you registered on the Infosys portal, so after how many days did you get the mail that you are shortlisted for the rounds? uh it it took around uh, 20 to 25 days okay so what was the first round with infosys uh, the first round uh, was uh, regarding the test uh, for the uh, system engineer role it was a basic test uh, 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 including the, the aptitude round and the, the small coding round okay so there were two two sections the test was divided into two, se two sections right Okay. Did you remember like uh, what was the time limit or uh, for what type of duration the test was? Uh, the time duration for the aptitude section was one and a half hour, and uh, for the coding section was forty five minutes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how many questions were there in the aptitude part? Uh, that thing I don't know. Actually, I, I don't remember. Uh, no no issues if you don't remember uh, but uh, did you remember that all the questions were of mcq type or uh, like other one word answers all the questions, or... were, all the okay. questions were on the mcq type okay so what was the difficulty level of the aptitude part uh, i would say the reasoning and uh, the verbal part was uh, quite uh, to the easier side and the uh, numerical ability was on the medium side Okay. Any important topics did you remember out of which the questions were mostly asked in the aptitude? Uh, for the numerical ability, uh, one should focus on uh, uh, the limits, uh, the statistics, and uh, ratio and proportion. The verbal side, one should focus on the grammar and uh, the passage side, like the reading comprehension. Okay. So, how many questions were there in total? Uh, I. To be honest, I don't remember it correctly, but uh, I would say uh, everything was uh, divided equally. The, all the three sections were divided equally. Okay. So, uh, was there any uh, sectional cutoff? Like, once you clear this much uh, section with this much percentage, next one, uh, then only you can move to other section. Uh, actually, it is said that that the cutoff is eighty percent, uh, but uh, uh, I like uh, I cannot say anything about that. But okay. uh, it is said that cutoff is eighty percent. Okay. Okay. So uh, coming forward to the technical part, uh, how was that test conducted? Like, was there coding round or only MCQ questions were there? Uh, there were uh, only MCQ questions on the programming concepts. Okay. Okay. So there were not any type of coding yeah. questions. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, any topics you remember from which the technical questions were mostly asked? Uh, the object-oriented programming and uh, the data structures. Okay. okay. So after that, like uh, as soon as you cleared your test, uh, so when was the results announced? Uh, it took it, it again took uh, fifteen to twenty days to, for the results to announce, and okay. after that, yeah. So, okay, after that, after how many days the interviews were scheduled? Uh, after, uh, it, it also took uh, around 15 to 20 days. So the process uh, took for Infosys is quite longer. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So coming, uh, moving forward to the interviews, right? 
so how many interview rounds were there in infosys uh, there was a single uh, uh, interview round including technical in nature okay so both were conducted in a single yeah. round yeah right so uh, do you remember the questions like from which topics the questions were asked uh, so that uh, f- firstly they asked about my project and when when uh, i told them about my project so they they were kind of kind of interested in my project so they have uh, further asked the questions about my project apart from that uh, they asked me about uh, some object oriented principles and uh, some data structures and algorithms uh, i know they also asked me about the which language i prefer uh, so that they can ask further questions like what are the data structures in this language and etc Going ahead, any questions you remember out of which uh, that like you told us the technical topics and any like point questions you remember? Okay, so firstly they asked me about my favorite programming language. So I told them my favorite favorite programming language is Python. So uh, after that they asked me uh, if I know any data structures in Python. Apart from that they asked me if I know any de- object oriented principles or what are the four pillars of object oriented programming. so these were the technical con- uh, questions i remember okay so were you able to answer all the, all of the, the, their questions yeah they were quite easy easier uh, one for me okay okay so c- moving ahead to the hr type of questions how yeah. how many questions uh, was there and did you remember any questions okay so they asked me about uh, about my location uh, my preferred domain etc but the one question was a uh, pretty uh, tricky one like uh, they asked me if uh, how i can handle the work pressure if i can give any examples of it or if i have handled some work pressure in my college itself they asked me about some examples i have faced okay yeah so so i tell told them uh, about my project uh, like how i, I handle difficult difficult situations okay so So Arvind, now we are at the end. So just tell us, like, uh, when did you receive your final results after the interview? As you told, there was uh, a single round of interview. So after yeah. how many days you got your final results that you were selected? Uh, so it took around one month uh, to receive uh, the final uh, notification from them. Uh, it also took uh, uh, like ma- many days to receive an actual offer. but uh, okay. it took around a month to uh, let me know that i am selected in infosys they have just mailed me that you are uh, congratulations you have been selected to infosys okay okay so uh, adharva any suggestions any advices you want to give from your side to the to your juniors those who are planning to start their career with infosys mm-hmm. i would suggest them uh, i would suggest everyone to please stay calm and uh, start your prepare, preparation it's not that it's uh, very difficult you can uh, i'm sure you can crack it apart from that uh, you should focus on the aptitude questions uh, uh, related to mathematics first like the numerical ability is the more core uh, uh, more core section in this uh, uh, in this exam apart from that you should focus on basic programming concepts like uh, the data structures and algorithm and uh, some uh, uh, oops concepts as well uh, once you are, you have done it uh, you are good to go okay great uh, so and apart you. from that i have one more suggestion like uh, you should uh, you should not lie in your resume and you should not even lie uh, in your interviews as well because they can catch you easily sure sure okay so thanks darva for being here uh, with us today and sharing your valuable experience with us hope our audience has get some important uh, informative content from today's video and those who are planning to start their career with infosys they might have uh, these kind of doubts before they actually sit for the placement test and now they can well prepare for uh, themselves for it so once again thank you from the whole team of tenant petal for joining the session and sharing your experience with us